My opponent has all of the... Alright, let's try and claim here. So they have they have options here. They don't have a counter spell. They can sacrifice it. Interesting. Okay. I will draw. And now we will sacrifice. Day three. Hey everybody, Editor Dan here real quick. Um, apparently there was an issue with the audio that plagued all of the gameplay and my deck tech uh, for this video. So uh, apolog uh, apologies up front, want to let you know. After going back, um, it turned out that the issue started while I was streaming. Um, so I'm still trying to pinpoint what exactly the issue is so it doesn't happen again. Um, but just so you know, there's going to be a slight audio issue, uh, for the remainder of this video. So I apologize. Um, but rest assured, I am going to try and get it fixed and resolved going forward. So we don't have this issue again. So, um, if anyone actually has any uh, thoughts or ideas as to why exactly it happened, uh, just let me know down below and I'd appreciate it. All right, let's get back to it. Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Dan. I'm the MTG Engineer, and welcome to another Magic the Gathering Arena gameplay video. Today, we are playing Rakdos Sacrifice in Historic. Historic is, is fun, man, dude. Historic is a lot of fun. A great, great format. Rakdos Sacrifice is coming back with a vengeance. Why a vengeance? I don't know. It's that's just the thing people say. Um, anyway, this archetype has been around for a long time. Um, so, all right. Question. Question of the day. Is this deck, Rakdos Sacrifice, would that be considered a, an aristocrat strategy? I think so. I think it would be. Um, I, I'll, I'd have to actually do some looking up. But I believe the main idea behind aristocrat strategy is um, sacrificing. Um, somebody correct, correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know down in the comments if I'm wrong, but I think, I think I'm actually right. Um, so yeah, this is a sacrifice deck built, um, pretty much just straight up sacrificing. Um, so this was, I remember when this deck kind of wasn't standard, obviously without a few cards that are in here that are only legal and historic. Actually, a lot of them are only legal and historic now. Um, mainly... So revolving around Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Priest of Pri no, no, excuse me. Priest of Forgotten Gods. I say a lot Priest of the Forgotten Gods. I was actually trying to look this card up to find some artwork for it. Um, but I was like, oh, why can I not find it? Oh, it's because there's no the. There's no the in there. It's just straight Priest of, For Priest of Forgotten Gods. See, I have it so ingrained in my head to say the, but that is not accurate. Anyway, Priest of Forgotten Gods, fantastic to drop um, in this type of strategy um forcing our opponents to sack their own creatures as well now of course we do have to sacrifice our stuff as well but in a deck like this we don't really matter too much why scrap heap scrounger that's a big reason why uh we can sacrifice him and then get this card back to the battlefield by paying two which coincidentally we can generate with Priest of Forgotten Gods because Priest of Forgotten Gods reads, when you activate her, you tap, sacrifice two other creatures. Any number of target players each lose two life and sac, sac creature. You add two black mana and you draw a card. So we can take that two that we generate with Priest of, of Forgotten Gods, use it to pay for Scrap Heap Scrounger's activated abilities cost. The only other requirement that we have is we need another um, creature card in our graveyard to exile with. What are we going to exile? Citrus Supplier is a good one. And Citrus Supplier helps us fill up our graveyard with other stuff. So Citrus Supplier is fantastic when he when she ETBs or dies, you mill three. Um, and then Cauldron Familiar is nice because we are running the Cat Oven combo with Cauldron Familiar and Witch's Oven. We can also sacrifice our opponent's stuff by stealing it with Claim the Firstborn. Uh, Woe Strider is another free sacrifice outlet that we can utilize if we steal our opponent's creatures. Uh, so Woe Strider is nice. Um, that way, uh, well, so Woe Strider, when Woe Strider ETBs, they, um, 
generate generate a token so we get a token when woe strider atbs and then an, again another free sack outlet to scry but the main one the main dog the big one the big combo not a combo but <laughs> you know the synergy um in any recto sacrifice deck is mayhem devil the pinger so the nice one of the awesome things about mayhem devil is if you have mayhem devil on the field with priest of forgotten gods um when your opponent sacrifices a creature, Mayhem Devil will trigger as well because Mayhem, De Mayhem Devil reads whenever a player, any player, any player sacrifices a permanent, a permanent. So if your play your opponent plays out a Fable Passage, they sacrifice the Fable Passage. Oh, Mayhem Devil is going to trigger. Mayhem playing against Mayhem Devil is so annoying <laughs> um, because it's like there's a constant pings, ping, 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 ping. Yeah, that's what happens with Mayhem Devil. So, um, and then the last card that is really in this deck um, recently is Chandra. Um, I so I played this deck a little bit on stream, and I and I mentioned this on stream was when I started playing Magic was M nineteen Chandra. Uh, so Kaladesh was coming out of rotation, coming out of standard. I never really played with it, but I do remember when. Kaladesh was in standard. The The hype around this card was insane. Now I get it. Now I understand why this Planeswalker was hyped up. Well, I, I don't know if it was hyped because, again, when I came in, you know, so on and so forth. But why Chandra was so much uh, so talked about. Fantastic Planeswalker, let me tell you. Um, and, again, playing with it recently... I've really finally learned how to utilize Chandra as a as a um, as a planeswalker, and let me tell you, dude, she's fantastic, fantastic planeswalker. So, uh, yeah, that's the deck. Uh, yeah, I already talked about Witch's Oven. So again, another basically free sack outlet. But the only only issue with Witch's Oven is you can only activate it once a turn uh, because you have to tap it to activate it. So. Yeah, and then we have the mana base here. Now, we do have a sideboard. Uh, this specific deck, I believe, was featured in a tournament. I don't know which one. Forgive me. Um, but this is the sideboard that, is us that, is us that was utilized. Excuse me. So this sideboard's running three three Thought Seizes, two Noxious Grass, two Braids, three Witches Vengeance, uh, an Active Trees, and two Bedevils, and two Sky Sovereign Console, console Flagships. So that is the deck. Uh, yeah, we did run this in best of one, um, and dude, this this is a fun this is a fun deck. Um, so I know there's also a Jun version. I believe there's a Jun version running around, um, but this is uh, this is the Rakdos version. And yeah, so let's get into some games um, quickly. Before we do that, though, question another question. I'm gonna call this the question of the day. I'm thinking about uh, kind of altering how I do my content. Instead of, if you watch my content and you like it, I'd appreciate appreciate if you let me know this in the comments. Um, one thought, I've had this thought, and then actually somebody had mentioned this to me over on Facebook, and I kind of want to get, uh, I kind of want to get everyone's opinions, just their thoughts about um, magic uh, gameplay content like that that I produce. Um, so the way that I do it, and I know a lot of content creators do it, is when when we're doing gameplay videos, it's here's the here's the deck. Deck tech gameplay, and that's usually you know 30, 30 minutes, forty minutes, up all the way up to an hour. So gameplay portions can be can be quite long. However, I had a thought, um, and I might start doing this because honestly, I think it's a good idea. But I, I still kind of want to get some feedback. I want to split it, split that into two. Instead of doing it all in one video, basically split it into two videos. So it's basically all the same content, just split into two, which both will link to each other. So basically have one video that is the deck tech portion of the video, and then the, a separate portion that is straight gameplay. No talking about the deck, it's just the game, the matches using that deck. That way, if, you, if you're only consider, uh, only interested in the deck itself, we can do a much shorter video, and then I can talk a little bit more about the deck in general, and then also probably do some other things about um, purchasing the deck in paper or whatnot, so we can have that separate, and then at the end of the video, we can then link to the gameplay portion, so you can see that in action. Um, let me know Let me know what you think about that. Um, I think it's a good idea. It's something that I uh, am looking to do, and I think... I like the idea personally, um, but for I know I have a small audience right now, 
but I, I'd, I'd be interested to know what your thoughts are if if that's something you would like to see. Because the nice thing is, it's if you don't want to see either or, it's like, well, I, I'm all, only really considered in the gameplay. Right? Okay, then don't watch the deck tech. Just watch the gameplay. If you want to see the, if if all you're concerned about is, hey, I want to see a new deck. Let me let me see the deck. Then you can just watch the deck tech links and all that will be there, and then there. And it's a much shorter video. You don't because I, I know some people they might just say I'm interested in the deck tech and that's it, and then they quit and they don't watch any of the games. Um, so I I I think it's a good idea personally, and it's something that I'm probably going to try and utilize at some point in the near future i just have to figure out how exactly i want to execute that into my strat um, in my content strategy so i'd appreciate some feedback let me know what you think if you, if you think uh, if that's something you'd like to see um and then let also let me know if there's other things that you'd like to see as well i've got some other ideas that i'm working on that are in the pipeline that you will see uh soon ish from me uh in my content so anyway all that out of the way let us jump right into some games with rakdos sacrifice so hey happy friday and i hope you all have a fantastic weekend and yeah let's just get some games all right thanks for being here subscribe like all that good stuff and i'll see you in the next video all right see everybody all right scrap heap scrounger we're going to mulligan this. Yeah, this is good. Mayhem Devil, we... Boy. Yeah, let's actually get rid of the Mayhem Devil. Ah, uh, probably should have done Fable Passage first. Already, <laughs> already a misplay. Yeah, a hundred percent. Okay. Okay. Crawling Barons. Okay, so next turn. All right. Nesting Horn Beetle. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> we want double black. We need double black. All right. So now let's get down Priest. Okay. So now, next turn. Perfect. We can scrap Heap Scrounger. Nope, take two. All right. Yeah, we're gonna scrap heaps scrounger here. Next turn, I'm gonna get want to get mayhem devil down. Uh, let's go ahead and get in there. Yeah, let's just get in for one. Okay, and say go. Since Hornbeal can't do anything right now, I'm I feel better about holding up priest. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh we'll take two anyway. Because assuming we activate assuming we activate here. Alright, yeah, this is this is fine. Ah, a land would have been nice. All right. Okay. So let's just... Let's hold here. Yeah, let's just hold here. I could have attacked with Scrap Heap Scrounger. Um, maybe a little too quick on the draw there. Yeah. All right, that's like their... That is the... Th is that the third or fourth? Yeah, that's their fourth growth spiral. Um, and they're clearly... 
Uh, just the one. Sacrifice you, you. So before this triggers, hang on. We can we can get rid of their entire board here. Yep. Another one. Target you. Before anything, scrap heap scrounger. Pay you. Get rid of stitcher supplier. Okay. Perfect. All right. So. I'm actually leaving both of these open. I'm leaving both of these. I'm leaving both mana up. Why? Because then what we can do is actually no. No. I can only do one. Shoot. That's okay. Uh, Nissa, you got it. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and do this now. Target you. Submit. Sacrifice one, two. Yep. So the... Th uh, I was... I thought I was going to be able to bring back both Scrap Heap Scroungers there, but the problem with that was I only had one other creature in the graveyard. Um... I'm going to keep this hand. I have three lands. Stitch of Supply will fill the yard for Scrap Heap Scroungers. Um, however, I don't really have any other pieces that are really going to give me any kind of action here. Paradise Druid. All right. Well, going to need something. It's gonna give me some action. Let's get a mountain. Oh boy. Actually. No, let's just scrap heap scrounger. Okay. Cauldron familiar. Got it. I can't claim the firstborn on Paradise Druid because of hexproof. Collect a company? Yeah, that's fine. Ah, elves. You got it, dude. That feels bad. I mean, that's 10 damage already. I do not have a sack outlet, unfortunately. <clears throat> um, I most likely probably should not have kept that hand. Um, we'll take it. We'll take the four. Other elf creatures you control. Other elf. Gosh darn it, dude. All right. Well. I can't even do negative three. Because right now. Yeah, the, wow. <clears throat> These elves are buffing all other elves, and we have two of them. And then three elf lords. I don't have a way...
Here's what we should do. Let's do this. Because if they want to create another one, they have to tap, tap. Let's do that. That's fine. And then we're gonna wait to do that uh, at end of turn. Say go. 12, I mean, that's 19 damage right now. I mean, they got, they got a balling hit off a of collective company. That, that, that Coco, man. I really wish at some point the developers would add a turn tracker so we can know what happened on on each turn. But Chandra would have done nothing. Oh jeez, another elf lord. Um is do I have a way out of this? No. Because again, other elves other elves no, I can Chandra to get rid of this clan caller. Oh, wait a minute. Should I have Chandra last turn? I probably should. What? I think I think I screwed up. Witch's Oven. That's good. That This elf is not going to get buffed. Hey, over here. <laughs> yep, we're flammable. Just go ahead and get an attack. I mean, that's pretty much game, so... Yeah. Um, I think I messed that up. I pretty... I think I screwed that up. Darn it. Shoot. Yeah, this is definitely a great hand. All right, well, let's see what we draw next turn. All right, sweet. All right, so we can play both these out next turn. Or we can steal something. Hopefully we draw land. We do not get a land. Oh no. Okay. What do we want to get rid of? There goes some lands. I'm just gonna do it now. There goes more lands. Right, pick which one you're gonna sack. Your flyer or your speaker of the heavens. Huh. 
sweet. So there's the two, which we're going to use for this. Let's get rid of the stitcher supplier. Sweet. All right. A Johnny's pride mate, you got it. Nope, don't like that. All right, well, at the moment, that's all they can do. So no lands, meaning they've got a lot of action. All right, this is good. Get in an attack with the Scrap Heap Scrounger. All right, we could do this, but I'm not going to. <clears throat> Do we let this resolve, or do we activate Priest now? I think we let it resolve. Yep, that's fine. Sure. <laughs> Alright, my turn. We will activate now. We will submit. Sacrifice 1, 2. We'll draw at two, and then with the two, perfect land, scrap heap scrounger. Go ahead and we'll exile Cauldron Familiar. My turn. All right. Perfect. Um, do we play this out now? Yes, I think we do. Yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna play it out. All right, and then say go. Linden. Yeah, that's fine. They don't gain any life here, though. Gain no life. All right. <sighs> yep, yep, sweet. Yeah, pretty sure we had that in the bag. I really want to keep this hand so bad. <laughs> like, oh, dude, you have no idea. No idea how much I want to keep this hand. But I can't. I'm so tempted to. Uh, yes, we'll keep this. Say goodbye to a cauldron familiar. All right, mono blue tempo. Uh, swamp. Phyrexian tower. Dang it. I should have got a, uh, shoot, I should have gotten a mountain, because then we could have claimed, sacked it, but, ah, oh, dang it, alright, we'll do this, 
And then we will do this. Okay. All right, so now next turn we can Phyrexian Tower. All right, what does this say? Whenever Warkite Marauder attacks, target creature defending player controls loses all abilities and has base power toughness. Zero, one. Cool. And Woe Strider. Nice. All right, cool. Now, maybe I should have taken the Siren Storm Tamer there. I don't know. I don't know if that was uh, was correct or not. But we'll see. Um, Another Siren Storm Tamer. You got it. Let's see what happens. Spectral Sailor. You got it. Okay. They want a double block. That's fine. Activate, though. Mayhem Devil. Yes. Keep you on top for sure. Yep. And turn. All right. So, am I going to be able to get Mayhem Devil down? That's going to be the question. Curious Obsession. Okay. Darn it. All right. We're going to try and get in with a cauldron familiar. Now, what I don't want to have to do. So here's my thought thinking right now. Okay, good. They don't, they're not flashing anything into block. Uh, wait a minute. Not yet. All right. So my thinking right now is Mayhem Devil, Fabled Passage, ping, ping the Storm Tamer. That's what I'm hoping. But if they have a Counterspell, they have a Counterspell. They have the Counterspell, shoot. All right, you got it. I, I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get out of this. <clears throat> yeah, I'm too far behind. At this point, I'm too far behind, and there's no, typically, there's going to be no coming back against a mono blue tempo deck. I mean, they, my opponent has all of the, all right, let's try and claim here. So they have they have options here. They don't have a counter spell. They can sacrifice it. Interesting. Okay. I will draw. And now we will sacrifice. Pay three. One, two, three, four. If they counter this, then that's fine. Okay.
to hand. I'm thinking about sacking the Cauldron Familiar Woe Strider right now. Because again... Hmm. Now we'll let it resolve. We'll st we still get the token. We still get a 1-1. One, one. Alright. That is acceptable. I guess. <laughs> Alright. In for three, you got it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another cauldron familiar. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. All right, so let's go to combat. Number one. Number two. Black, black, black. Let's actually get a... Let's get a black. Since they know about this. I'd much prefer to get Chandra down here. Alright. Does this resolve? Does not resolve. You got it. Okay. Opponent has six mana. Interesting. Citrus supplier I do not need right now. Scrap heap scrounger is nice. Alright, they don't have anything. All right, there we go. Now we have a board. My opponent down to eight life. Yes! Mm, that feels good. Yes! Oh, that felt good. <laughs>